thank you for tuning in to Pound Speed Garage. Um, we thank you for um, tuning in today. Uh, thank you for all of you that have subscribed already. Um, we, we hope to get more subscribers, but once again, thank you. Um, we will now uh, move on to my next build. Thanks. Today is going to be a central video. Um, I got some parts for it. I'm going to show you what I got. I have nothing for the engine bay as yet. So I'm going to be working on brake wires, maybe some suspension component. But I'm going to be getting this car wrapped up. I'm going to start with the back because I have everything I need to convert the brake setup for the back. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. I was supposed to work on the legacy, but it's raining. So that's on pause. So I'm going to get some work done on the central. Engine is in the, still in the same spot. Got to remove some parts from this and replace the bottom half, the upper and lower aisle pan, which I have over there covered up. Yeah, it's leaking. I have the wire harness boxed up to ship out to my brother so he could merge the center harness, body harness with the VQ. Get some of you are in the market for a reasonable price impact gun. This right here is very good for the price. You could bust some tight lug nuts. Let me show you real quick. It is cheap, there's no snap-on, but it does the job. Gave it power, got it from Amazon. This looks fresh for a car that has been parked for so many years. Continue with the removal process. Of the AV power, the gun, of the torque to pull the spindle nut. So it removed the spindle nut, and that's good. That just show you that this gun is on um, value for the buck. So if you guys would like to pick one up. AV power. Yeah, me being lazy. Here's another test of the AV power gun. Press record right there. Okay, cool, cool. So, for what I'm doing, I need to remove this back plate. So, let me put you guys down. I 
wrap. This is one of the easiest way to do it without grinding it out or breaking the screws. Problem child, right? Yeah. So this is gonna be my brake setup right here. This is the old B13 caliper right here. This is from '94 to 2001. This is an Altima. This is the E15 Sentra where hub 94 to 2001 Altima disc. So this is very much bigger than the stock Sentra. That's the one from the Sentra right there. side by side you can see the difference so let me get this set up so you guys could see a look on the car then I have to figure out how to work the e-brake I think I have an idea how to do it already so I'm gonna get it set up on the car And then go from there and for a lot of you guys if you want to run b15 spec v wheels on the center se wheels from the 2002 up you could do the swap i'm uh make another video on the front because i'm gonna be converting the front to b15 as well with the infinity q45 calipers So let's get this set up. The ECR looks on the back. So B15 hubs slide right onto the factory B13 rear spindle. This is from the 94 Altima. Fit perfectly with the B15 wear hub. You guys know that tool that comes with the grinder that you use to remove the disc. You know what else it could do? Ah. Yeah, you could use it to tighten this back in for, you know? Yeah, replace your brake pads. 
This is it. It's finished. Altima wear brake setup on the B13 Sentra. Brake line goes right back into the stock location as the B13. For the e brake cable, I gotta try to source the Altima e brake cable bracket. Bolts right here, and then it hooks to the back here. So. I'm going to try to find that and see what the game plan is from there so to what I'm looking at. It can work with the stock B13 e-brake cable. Just got to change the bracket. As I said, those of you who are interested in go bigger brakes on the, on the wear or the front, you could use the Nissan Sentra wear hub to convert it to 4x114 and the Altima wear brakes, wear disc rotor, brake caliper, brake arm, um, the bracket everything bolts right back up to the Nissan you need the e-brake bracket to use but the e-brake with um, your B13 um, e-brake cable once you get that bracket I'm confident that it should bolt, bolt up and you'll be able to use the stock B13 e-brake cable but I'm gonna see if I could find an e-brake cable bracket for the Altima and try it out and see um, yeah left side of the car is still stock if you're interested in the stock brake setup for the back let me know also the fronts I'm gonna get those off too so let me know so for the front I'll be going B15 hubs, Q45 calipers, and Q45 brake rotor. So uh, that's gonna need to be re-drilled to the four by 114. And I think they also sell them pre-drilled for the 240 SX. So that's a common swap with the 240 SX guys. They use the Q45 brake setup on the front of their cars on the 240SX. So I'm gonna be doing that on this car right here. It's a pretty good swap for those of you guys who are interested in using the spec V wheels. You know they got two different choices of spec V wheels. Plus they have the V15 SE wheels which I think they look good. I never seen them on a B13 before, so it's up to you guys if you want to do this swap. All right guys, so let me know what you think down in the comment. Like, subscribe, let your friends know, let them subscribe. It really help me out. And thanks for watching. Can't wait to get it done, but build takes time. Have a good one. Brown Street Garage out.